confession was the principal daily activity of Padre Pio. He had the ability to look within the souls of his penitents. It was not possible to lie to Padre Pio during a confession. He saw inside people's hearts. Often when the sinners were timid, Padre Pio listed their sins during the confession. Padre Pio invited all believers to confess at least once a week. He said, even if a room is closed, it is necessary to dust it after a week. In the sacrament of confession, Padre Pio was very demanding. He couldn't bear people that went to him only out of curiosity. Padre Pio narrated one such incident in the confessional. One day, while I was hearing confessions, a man came to the confessional where I was. He was tall, handsome, dressed with some refinement, and he was kind and polite. He started to confess his sins, which were of every kind, against God, against men, and against the morals. All the sins were obnoxious. I was disoriented, in fact, for all the sins that he told me, but I responded to him with God's word, the example of the church, and the morals of the saints. But the enigmatic penitent answered me word for word, justifying his sins, always with extreme ability and politeness. He excused all the sinful actions, making them sound quite normal and natural, even comprehensible on the human level. He continued this way with the sins that were gruesome against God, a lady, the saints, always using disrespectful, roundabout argumentation. He kept this up even with the foulest of sins that could be conjured in the mind of a most sinful man. The answers that he gave me with such skilled subtlety and malice surprised me. I wondered, who is he? What world does he come from? And I tried to look at him in order to read something on his face. At the same time, I concentrated on every word he spoke, trying to discover any clue to his identity. But suddenly, through a vivid, radiant and intent light, I clearly recognized who he was. With a sound and imperial tone, I told him, Say, long live Jesus, long live Mary. As soon as I pronounced these sweet and powerful names, Satan instantly disappeared in a trickle of fire, leaving behind him an unbearable stench.